Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And this evening it will be for the VR virtual reality glasses. Now again, very, very cool, cool design. So we're gonna go ahead and take this guy out and we're gonna go ahead and test it. Now you guys might have seen these. These are getting more and more popular. They originally started with kind of the cardboard cutout and you slip your phone in there and you kind of put it on your head there and you kind of watch a video, you know, kind of in the dark and this cardboard thing. Well, it's graduated from cardboard to something like this. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. There's a picture of it right there. Just kind of a plain box around and we'll go ahead and open it on up. And the seller of these is A Man Stino and they're 3D virtual reality glasses for smartphones, mobile phones, etc. Again, I'll link the seller in the description box below, just like all my unboxing and review videos. So it just has a little slip cover that comes off of it there in a nice box here. So let's go ahead and open it on up and see what we got here, guys. You can see there, a little bubble wrap to keep it nice and protected. And then inside here, we've got a few more things we'll go ahead and get to first. We've got a little pamphlet with what looks to be a little cleaning cloth there. And then here we have what looks to be some sticky pads, which looks like that would be to protect your phone from being scratched. And then that is it inside the box there. All right. And again, yes, a nice little cleaning cloth there. The little manual here shows how to put your phone inside, etc. And the virtual reality glasses compatible with a 3.5 inch phone through a six inch phone. And so you can put your old iPhone in there up to your iPhone 6 Plus. And again, just a little manual about how to use it. Now I will try to put this guy on in here. This is a Sony Z Ultra cell phone. It's a 6.4 inch cell phone. Don't know if that's gonna fit or not, Backup, I do have my iPhone 6, which is your standard iPhone 6, not the Plus. As we can see here, guys, just massive compared to the iPhone 6. So let's go ahead and get those out of the way here. Now we do have some nice bubble wrap on it, again, to keep it nice and protected. So let's go ahead and pull that guy on out of there. And here we go. Now we will be getting some close-up shots of this. We have our head strap right here and just a very sleek looking one. I've seen some other pictures of some different products. This one actually looks really, really cool. Take a look at that, little VR logo right there. And again on the side, and then again our little head strap here. Now as I'm looking at the eye area here, but we have a nice kind of, that's either leather or synthetic leather right here to a nice little padding just like earphones right here, but that goes around your eyeballs. So it's actually comfortable when you view it. Now as I'm looking into the goggles here, we have some protective layering right off the top, so you probably want to remove those so that just in case your image is not glossy. And so that again was on the inside there. And again, it looks like right here is our fold down up top. And so that folds down there. And then again, you would put your telephone right here in this slot here. And then again, this is where you would put your pads on right here to protect your phone. Looks like they already do have a couple pads. There's one down here at the bottom and two up here at the top, but these extra pads might come in handy as well. Now inside, we just have it looks like this on the inside there. And so let me show you what it looks like with the iPhone inside it like this. And then you would just, of course, fold that up and then slip this guy on. So let me show you what it looks like again here. So here we go, guys, right there. And then on this side here, and then straight away. And it does, according to the directions, it does have these little buttons up here that you move back or move forward for the viewing angle. And then up on top has little things where it kind of goes in or out for the different eyeballs and the different viewing etc guys so very very cool let's go ahead and see if our sony z ultra phone can pass the test and fit in here so again 6.4 inch screen i have my doubts but we'll see and no unfortunately it is way too big and too long to be able to fit inside 
the compartment here. Now guys, I wanna tell you about a mistake I learned early on is that not all video will work on this device. You can view things, it just won't look very clear. Now I made the mistake off camera by just shoving my phone in there, popping on a YouTube video, and I was like, something's not right. So I was playing around with it more and more and more, and then I realized, well guys, you need to download what's called the Google Cardboard Box app, or download games that split it in two so you're able to see it in two, not just one screen. You can't view anything with one screen like a YouTube video because it just won't look right. It'll be all fuzzy, you might only see one half or the other. As again, as we open up this, you're gonna see there's a cutout in the middle. And what the proper video, proper video games do is they split it in two sections so you're able to then see it 3D. Again, that was my mistake. I was like, man, these things don't even work. That was my mistake. So right here, I've downloaded the app Google Cardboard, available on iOS or Android device. So this is what it looks like on the actual iPhone outside. Splits it down the middle, and so both these screens pop out at you inside the virtual reality viewer. Now what's cool about this is that if this was on my head, wherever I look, the screen goes. 3D video is getting a lot more popular on YouTube. Some of the vloggers are even vlogging in 3D. So again, it goes wherever you look, it goes. So for instance, another thing I did download as well, guys, is the Discovery, Discovery VR, and that's by the Discovery Channel, and some Mythbusters ones like that. Here's the app right here. These are all free apps, and again, you can play video games on it as well. But for instance, there's one on here, the Discovery VR. It says, Broad Miller, which is the uh, professional skier, Birds of Prey, and it's him going down the uh, ski slopes. So right here, you can play it, and then right up here on the top, it says, View with Google Cardboard. So you go ahead and tap that, and then it splits it into two sections when it starts in three, two, one. And as you can see here, it starts in two different sections. So he's gonna ski down the hill, and, and then wherever you look, you can look at his feet, you can look at the run in front of him, you can look at the other skiers. So for instance, again, whatever you watch, you wanna pop it in, and then you again wanna make sure this line down the center aligns with this line between your eyeballs right there. Once that is aligned, you're gonna go ahead and shut the virtual reality trap there, pop them on like this, adjust whatever you need to adjust, now I'm literally looking at his skis as he comes around. So I can move my head exactly the way he's going around the different gates of the ski slope, guys. It is absolutely fantastic. And again, you can look up. I'm looking at the sky. I can literally look at his goggles because the camera's pretty much right near his goggles. I can look by the trees over here. I can look down at his skis right here. It is absolutely fantastic. So again, before I knew about splitting the screen in two with Google Cardboard, I had no idea what was going on to tell you the truth, guys. So hopefully that has helped you. And again, there are video games that you can download free on the Apple Store, the Google Play Store, etc. And also real quickly, guys, I do wanna show you this. This front trap door does pop off here. Take a look at that. If for some reason you want that to pop off, and then you go ahead and just put that cover back on like that and you're good to go, guys. All right, guys, so here is the Google Cardboard app right here, and then that is the Discovery app. Both of those are free, and then I'm downloading a free game as well for this device. So definitely view it in the proper screen format, and let's go ahead and look at the glasses now. So here is the right side here with our strap here, and this is one of our adjustable knobs there. As we come around, Right here, VR, virtual reality glasses. Amestino, the name of it there. And again, this detaches, opens up there, and closes as well. Over here to our other knob here. And what that does, again, that adjusts the distance. So see it rolls out, rolls in. And then this focuses the eye holes, brings them closer together or further away, depending on your eyes and the setting you need. The bottom here, that's where our trap door hinge right there. And then the top, again, is our focus button there. And again, our trap door, that brings it down. And this is the line where you want to space the two screens by. There's our little goggle areas there. 
And this is our little phone area here where you stretch it out that way and that way. And then your phone would go ahead and lock into place here. Now you could put the pads on this. There are small, small pads. It's kind of hard to see, but right here on this one as well down here. And this is our head strap here, which just pulls out for any head size. And again, nice padding on the different locations here, right there and there. And then again, here is our nice face mask, synthetic leather or leather. And then here is our little eye holes here. Now, the only adjustment the straps do have is these straps are Velcro, so you can move them back a little bit or move them forward a little bit. Again, some of these straps are Velcro here and here. But again, besides that, that is the only adjustments that you can make with the strap. But again, it stretches out pretty nicely, comes up pretty nicely to be able to do one size fits all there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the review. Again, a cool device. At first, I was a little skeptical about it because I didn't realize you had to view it kind of separately like that. That would be really cool if YouTube and some other places would jump on some more of these type of filming where you can just pop in a YouTube video and do that. So that would be cool if YouTube would actually have formatting like that or some other websites where you could watch cool videos in that stream forming. But right now it is getting popular, so in the future I think there's gonna be more available. But anyway, I think you're a gamer in the household or if you're a gamer would love the 3D virtual reality games as well. They are getting more popular, and so stay tuned for more of those. So again guys, look in the description box below the video where you'll find the link to this exact same product by the seller, and I'll link that in the description box below. And subscribe, I got a lot more awesome videos on the way, so stay tuned for those. I got a lot more products being sent to me. So again, look in the description box below, and until the next review, my name is Chris. It's been a pleasure, you have a wonderful night. Take care, bye-bye.